What's good, homie squad? It's your boy, homie Ziggy, and we back here with another video. And honestly, this is my first, well, actually, not first time, but it's been a while since I've like talked to y'all and do like a little discussion. So we're just gonna get into this video where, as you see, if you see the title, we're gonna talk about how Screwface John and Dizzy A sees the viewpoint of the jack harlow mgk you can say jab at one another and so so if you have it make sure to go check out the it's the effect is if you if you've seen the mg and the shingon kelly's renegade freestyle on this channel where it was just like a it was even though it the the rest of the freestyle was fire there was this one point where he was talking about how where he said in the line where it said I see why they call you Jackman you Jackman's flows I see you Jack man's flows oh he's Jackie swag or so give Drake his flow back now I myself included when I saw that I thought that that was an automatically shot because earlier in a song because if you also remember I reacted to Jack Harlow's song they don't like it Make sure to go check that out where he said he's the best white rapper since Eminem. Now people now we've seen other people reacting to it and such on their channels and such, right? So I'm so it's basically like this. I know my channel is not big as it is, but hey, come on now. You know I me as a person who loves music in general, you know I wanna hear something. You know I'm gonna wanna talk about that. So I figured for people who do like listening to music for like other artists and such i wonder how they feel on it so i figured why not we so i was on twitter and such if you haven't go follow me at humble ziggy as you see right up there and such and i go on twitter right and this is what busy eight thinks of this right hopefully y'all hear me so he says i'm gonna be honest i don't think jack I don't think Jack needs to respond to MGK, nor do I want him to, nor do I want him to. In my opinion, these, those that don't actually prove that you're the better rapper, as I mature as an artist and writer, I'm coming to realize what really stands the test of time is how your words impact people. Now, that's for a fact, too, right? Hold well, on, let me get big for y'all. Now that's for a fact true because nine times out of ten when it comes to music and such if you're an artist yourself and even if you're in the music industry and such what do you think will impact people more the distract that you've done or the music that sets a time where whether it's 10 years from now 20 years from now 30 years from now right People are going to still remember songs that you were in for a situation that happens in real life. And not necessarily about like, like any type of violence or whatnot and such. Just on certain things that's happening. Like would it be like you're going through depression, you're going through something, right? So 9 times out of 10, what most people would look for in music is something. It's basically like words that. Any type of lyric that like stand to the test of time or a song that record that makes you say like that's so relatable that no matter how much years go by and such still to this day that song still holds weight to what's happening right now in your current situation right so hold on here let me just go through Twitter so now let me just go on his Twitter here hold on let me show y'all in a second so look so now this is what school had to say when hold on be sure y'all now now this is what school had to like report retweet and search on his timeline to say and this is what he's saying about let's just give you and anyone who shares this opinion a quick 
hip hop lesson. So let me just full screen this. But actually, not full screen. Let me, let me, let me just still listen to it. So wait, so hold on. So hold on, let me I can get out of it. Hold on, give me a second, y'all. All right, sorry about that. So, like I said, let's see how school. Now, this is like the. Now, if you haven't, he made a talk about this on his main channel about the whole school, about the whole MGK versus Jack Harlow that could happen and such. So, this is like his little. You can say hip hop lesson. And this is like a clip from that video. There is a competitive nature. Hip hop came from. New York from from it started as a way of making gang members not go and murk each other but they started doing dance battles rap battles MC battles graffiti and that's how it started let me just give you a hip-hop lesson so that element that competitive nature will never be removed and if you don't like that please please dear God let me take my glasses off Dear Lord and Savior, stop listening to hip hop. Try, I, I promise you hip hop will not miss you. I promise. Because I was reading certain comments and people were like, why do rap, you know those people, those people who grew up on goddamn saltine crackers and, 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 and cheese, that's all they ate? Just like, oh my God, there's no flavor. Oh my God, why do rappers have to diss each other? What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes this is always too. The point is to show who's better. And actual hip hop fans love it. Love it. Okay, so I thought that oh, hopefully y'all heard that in such. Now to the there is a competitive nature. Hip hop came Sorry. Now to his point. That may be true. That is true, no doubt about it. That with hip hop, hip hop started as a way for men. Cause let's face it, if we live, if imagine if there was no hip hop, no music whatsoever, right? Do you know how many casualties would be happening in this world right now if it wasn't for the sake of, if it wasn't for music, for hip hop or whatnot and such, right? If it wasn't for music, many people in who's in gangs and such would be dead right now. And trust me, nobody wants to ever see that upon anybody. No, I don't care how much you might hate a certain person. I don't care if you don't like what they are. At the end of the day, I don't feel nobody. I don't feel like nobody should die. But sometimes you want the correct way of justice to be served and so and so, right? So I agree with that statement where he's saying about how at the end of the day, when it comes to hip hop, it's a good thing that this is a good way of serving the place. Now, with the rap beef and such, right? Granted, it is true. Now that is true too, to a point where if you say you're a better lyricist, right? You say you're a better rapper than me? Okay, prove it. Bar for bar. Like, let's really put our pants to this and such. Let's really see who's really a, who's really the great lyricist and such, right? Who? I'm not saying nothing's wrong with that. Nobody's saying nothing's wrong with that. Because, hey, we like to hear bar. If you're a real good musician fan, nine times out of ten, we will want to hear who has a better who has the better rhyme schemes, who has the better rapping, the better flows, basically the better lyricism, right? Nothing's wrong with that. Everybody likes, every hip-hop fan, every musician who likes real good music likes to hear good bars here and there, right? We always like that. So, give me a second here, let me go to the next video. Because at the end of the day, I'm not saying what he's saying is wrong. But sometimes you gotta realize not all the time that's always gonna be the case because people have different ways of how they listen to their music. Now, I'm, like I say, I'm not saying your way is wrong, but you gotta listen to everybody else's opinion on that. 
because what your basically your stance on it is a it's your stance right it's your thing but at the end of the day but still even though you even if you're a rapper yourself what you say and such is not always going to be the same thing what other people or other rappers are going to agree to because they might agree with certain points but they're not going to agree with the whole entire thing so i get it but, but now now let's see what dizzy ate at to say and such because he made a response to that saying let me give you let me give you and anyone who shares that opinion a quick business slash life lesson all all out all out of love though because i do rock with you i just disagree with you with a lot of your points because hey at the end of the day come on now if y'all have been a fan of school face and busy you know these two is fire together i mean they had the song with smoke curb and such on it but trust me these two i mean and they chuck and they've been on the and they're on the worldwide side for two but trust me, these two know how to rock each other. So let's hear Disney's take on this. Yeah, yeah I respect your opinion. opinion. I really do. Um, this is what I this is what I would say to that, right? Um, uh -oh. just because <laughs> something starts off this way doesn't mean that it has to continue being that way. You feel me? That's a fact. That is a true fact. Because at the end of the day, you gotta realize. And that and like you and like this, like like right. Hopefully y'all see me in the little box right here and hear me well. Just because something started out as a certain thing, it's not always gonna continue the exact same way. Because it's we go through the life called evolution. So same so not only music are gonna keep getting He's gonna get bigger and bigger and has more I don't know how to say it, but more like different values and such. So has people in high class and so even though this even though hip hop started out as a way of people of gangs not trying to kill one another and such, just trying to show up their aggression towards other people in a musical way. That is cool. But throughout the years and such, you do realize People evolve more and more. So nine times out of ten, especially when it just comes to not only just music, but in life in general, people always are gonna evolve more. So you always gonna get people who, when they wanna come to making music and such, it's not like they're always gonna wanna beef with one another. Now on music, like music wise, to see who's a better rapper, true. But at the same time, if you want people to know who you don't want people to just know you for the person who's always dissing people and such. You want people to know you for many other things as well. Um, um, just because this, something starts off this way doesn't mean that it has to continue being that way. You feel me? Um, like there's a lot of just historical events that start off one way and evolve into something else. Because through time we realize that the way we used to do things isn't always the best way to do things. You feel me? That's a fact. Let's, let's just take, um, if we're gonna look at battle rap, right? If we're gonna look at rappers battling, and I don't mean like battle rap. Battle rap has its own art form, which I love. I love battle rap. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna talk about just mainstream artists, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you look throughout the years, like to, over the last decade, let's say Drake and Pusha T, um, MGK, Eminem, um, mm -hmm. so, so Joyner and Tory, um, every single time we have a beef, you know what happens to rappers when we when they beef? They get a boost and they rapidly decline. That is true. I mean, think about it. With the whole NGK thing, NGK versus Eminem. How many times whenever it's basically like this? The minute when you, if you do remember when the whole NGK versus Eminem thing started, was when Machine Gun Kelly made a little tweet back in 2012 about at then 
Eminem's underage daughter at 16 years old, right? Now he's not, and he did, he's not trying to be, he was just trying to say she looks good, but it did seem a little weird why you as, I get, I think he was like 22 or so at the time. Hold on, let me see if I can talk to y'all. Right? Oh shit, I would be need. Well, hopefully y'all still heard it and such, right? Hopefully y'all did hear it. Like, I get it that he was trying to... Like, I get MGK was trying to be, like... Respectable in a way, but dude, it did seem kind of weird of why he did that. But then, as soon as when M found out about it, he's saying about how... Mm -mm, that's a no-no, right? So... He banned him from like day 45 or so, but then the initial, the real initial beef of how this came about was when MGK made a song called Rap Devil, like a little flip on Eminem's Rap God, and he got out of it, right? So, so Eminem responded like what, a week later or so, with Kill Shot, and let's face it, we all know we all know Eminem won that battle. We're not gonna lie. Eminem won that, right? And hey, I'm not just hating on MGK. I like his music, right? But really think about it. As soon as when Eminem won that battle, right? MG Machine Gun Kelly like went on this whole charade or so you can say of saying that he won. He he won this battle, right? Because if you remember it and such he was going on every social media, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, saying that, oh, I won this. He didn't answer back. Hell, even performing at shows with the whole Eminem cross out and so and so. And hell, at one point when he was performing, he got people booing at him. So, yeah, but then sooner or later when, but then he dropped that binge EP and I gotta say, that binge EP was trash. It was straight up was. People, the, and basically like this, the numbers didn't lie. When you saw that, when you saw the numbers for when he released it, it was terrible. Terrible. But, and then later on in such, in 2019, when he did come back after a few months, being like discreet and all, he came back with the whole rock. He, he basically that's so crazy with Eminem. He would it is like this. Eminem killed him so bad in a way you can say that he made him switch rock. He made him switch to a different genre of music, rock music. Right? And so for the past you can say from from twenty nineteen to When at least till late 2022, it's mostly been rock. But as you've seen lately in search, and hell, even six months ago when I saw he did a song with EST, ESTG, he's back on his rap vibes. And with the ciphers and such, he's back on his rap vibes. So you can't, and plus, you can't say he got his career killed when he literally sold out stadiums and such. So that would it. But, right, at the end of the day, right, he just tried to move on. In a way, you can say he hasn't tried to move on, but, because I know people are always going to come back to that. But at the end of the day, he just tried to mush, keep on going with his career and so and so, right? Now, back to what Dizzy was going to say now. So, so from a business bitch. standpoint, if we're looking at rap as a business, you feel me? Wouldn't it make sense to do the thing that's going to be best for your business? Why would you battle? That's a fact too. Like, if you're going to look at this at a business point, right? Yeah, you can say this is your, it's your passion and stuff, but you got to remember at the end of the day, what this music is, is it can be your, it's going to be for your love and such, but also you got to treat it as a business. 
and sometimes that business can be cutthroat so nine times out of ten if you're gonna want to put if basically this if you're gonna want people to know you you don't want them always just knowing you for your hold on get big for y'all again you don't want them to always just know you for your get what you always dissing at people for you don't want them to just know you for dissing people all the time because honestly that would be a bad reputation because at the end of the day when it comes to it's this like this what's more better for people knowing you for dissing people or for people seeing that you put in the hard work in something or for putting in the hard work and basically your music is always going to be around forever you tell me all right it, it has been shown time and time again every time you battle somebody regardless if you win or lose you see a decline you see what i mean i'm not saying get rid of the competitive nature at all i'm a competitive guy you feel me i want to be the best rapper my own self but I'm doing that too. like at some point we have to evolve past that and realize we don't gotta tear each other down to prove that you feel me Facts. Just make great music Because at the end of the day That's what really matters Nobody cares about the, the diss tracks They come and they go It's really a phase Now that is true That is true Right He's not wrong on that See so It's basically like this Like I see You see With me right Like I said I like these two guys I like their music So Basically with me, when it comes to me on certain points, I don't just only look at one thing and stick to it. I always look at both sides of the story. So I get with school saying that if you say, if you're challenging somebody's pen, right? If you're saying that you're the best rapper, right? Sorry, I thought my door was opening. If you're the best rapper, right? If you're saying that you're better than everybody, prove it. And you, and you basically called out somebody even if it's not like a beef thing or anything you basically called out somebody and you're saying you're better than them let's put it to the test let's put it to the pen right but at the same time right if you all if you're just going to keep on responding every single time to one another right people are going to get tired by that because like busy said the diss tracks are always just going to come and go it's entertaining, but you don't want that being the main vocal point of your whole entire career. Because if we're trade, because like you said, if you want to treat this like a business-wise, you can't just always make people know you for the whole this track aura thing and such. You gotta know them for what you put into your music. Like you gotta let them know what how your music is and such. Because if they're just them. But if they just always see you as the person who always just do diss track on one another, then certain fans, certain fans of music are going to see you as somebody, as see your music as basically firing shots at somebody. Which that's not all the time music has to be about. Always just trying to diss one another. Because as you see in drill music, most drill music are just known for people firing shots at other other rappers and such other drill rappers and nine times out of ten those get it depends on who the artists are but at the same time you can't always just get you just if it's like this there's nothing wrong with wanting to listen to your drill music right but if every time when you're listening to a drill song and it always involves you talking about ops and such i it's going to wear out. Like. It's really. It's not going to make. It's not going to feel special anymore. If you're always doing it. Time after time after time after time after time. So. So like I said. I get what school says about. Lyrically. If you're challenging such. Oh. Let, let two rappers come together. And put that pen together. Right. So I agree with that. But at the same time, if you want to keep on evolving as an artist, you can't always just come back to the same. You can't just make a career known for dissing people all the time. 
Because at the end of the day, you want your music to stand out in time and such. Because basically, people are going to remember way more of the impact your music had on people for many years to come than how many people you dissed over the years. Because it's basically like this. It's basically like this, people. What's more better? Knowing how many people you dissed over the years or how many of your music are impactful on people's lives? You let me know in the comments down below. So I know this has been like almost 30 minutes of a video. So hopefully you guys like this and such. Let me know what you guys who's let me know what you guys think and such who's in the right. Is it true or is it dizzy eight? Let me know in the comments down below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.